lovelies? Welcome back. It's your girl Katie here and today's video I'm going to be doing an unboxing of August Icon Box. So this is the BoxyCharm box that Ipsy does and this is the big one. So it's called the Icon Box. It's the upgrade um, that they do four times a year. You can subscribe to their Icon Box. So instead of getting like your normal regular BoxyCharm box, you would get this one instead which costs a bit more. Um, but it's their bigger box. Anyway, so I'm just going to be showing you guys what all I got, tell you guys prices and all that good stuff. But so, to no further ado, let's just go ahead and get started. So yeah, as usual, I did go ahead and try out the makeup products that are in this box on my face before I film this. That way I can give you guys my first impressions of the makeup products. So let's go ahead and open this. So Ipsy got new boxes, and I have to say they're not the most, like, sturdy looking. Like, when you open it, it just kind of falls apart, it seems like. Um, I don't know if that's how they designed it intentionally or what, but yeah, their boxes are really flimsy now. Anyway, so here is the magazine. So apparently, I guess, Vanessa Hudson, is that her name? I think it's how you say her name, yeah. Hud Hudgens, Hudgens, whatever her name is, Vanessa. Apparently, I guess she's the, kind of the one that picked the products for the box or something like that. I don't really know. I don't really know how that works. Um... I'm guessing. I think that's what I, I saw on the app. Anyway, so the magazine just has a bunch of information about the products that I guess are in here. Um, yeah. I don't really look at the magazines anymore because sometimes, like, when you get those bigger ones, it'll have some of the products that are in your box, but they don't always have all the products listed on your box. So I still have to go to the app to find prices and everything so anyways there's that so I'm just gonna start with the products that they chose for me first and then I'll show you guys the products that I was able to customize so first thing that they chose for me is from Clark's Botanical and this is their 7 acid daily glow peel this retails for $75 I'm not really sure what a glow peel is does it make your skin peel or is that just a fancy name for it I don't really know much about this I guess it's a exfoliating thing I don't know I'll have to look into it um, I'm not really sure if this is safe for me to use right now I may have to wait I don't know I don't really know much about peels and stuff but I'll look into it it does look like a pretty nice item like I'm curious about it um, comes in a nice glass bottle I like getting glass bottles because you can always reuse them I don't know I feel like with plastic sometimes you can't reuse plastic but glass is always a nice thing to get so $75 for this am I surprised no I've gotten used to the outrageous prices that skincare apparently costs I would never buy this I mean maybe if it's really really good but even then I don't think I'd pay $75 for this but I'm glad to have the opportunity to try this out so there's the first item. Next up is something from Huda Beauty, and this is their Legit Lashes Major Voluming Mascara. Now, this is the only product that I didn't try out today um, when it comes to the makeup side, solely because I'm trying to use up my mascara that I've already opened, and I still have quite a few to go through, so I'm going to save this till I go through all those first, but I am really curious to try this out and I really wanted to but I was like what's the point of me trying to use up what's open if I'm just going to keep opening mascaras um but anyways this retails for $31 so I think it's a two and one um I don't know if there's supposed to be one side for your bottom or I don't know if it's different formulas I don't know one says volume in, and the other one says curl and length so I don't know how that works, but I'll have to read it about it and figure it out later. But anyway, so I'm pretty excited to get this. I like getting stuff from Hue to Beauty. All right, next up is something from I L Mike Age. I think Mike Age, Make Age. I don't know. I'm probably pronouncing that really wrong. I am horrible when it comes to pronunciations. I don't know why. That's just the way I am. But anyways, this retails for twenty-seven dollars. And this is in a nice, like, glass. That's what it feels like to me. It feels like a glass bottle. 
but it's a gloss. And it is what I have on my lips right now, but it's, it's, I, so far, I really like it. Um, it feels glossy, like a gloss, but it has a lot of pigmentation into it. Like, I didn't put anything underneath it. The, what you see on my lips is what you get in the bottle. So I really like it. I would almost say this is like a liquid lipstick. Like, it's pretty pigmented. Maybe you could sheer it out if you put, like, a really light coat on it, but I don't know. I really like it. I can't remember if I've gotten anything from this brand before in my Ipsy boxes, but it feels pretty fancy, though. But, yeah, $27 for that. Then we have a Natasha Denona palette here, a duo palette. This is Eloy... Eloy Cheek Duo. It's a bronze and glow palette. This retails for $42. Here's what it looks like. So you get a bronzer and a highlighter. And I did use this on my face. That's what I got. That's where I get my glow from in the bronzing. Um, I don't know. I kind of have... I'm not really sure what I think of this product. I don't think it's bad. But the bronzing shade seems kind of not really my shade. It's At first I thought it was going to be really dark, so I went really light-handed. But it has um, kind of like a red tone to it, and I'm not sure I like that. I prefer more cool tone bronzers, and this one kind of seems more warm tone. But it's not bad. Um, the highlighter is okay. It's not like super, super beaming, but it's not bad at all. So yeah, I'd say... I don't know, I think it's just the bronzer shade that I really don't like. It's not my favorite, but it might grow on me, so I'll keep using it and I'll see how I feel about it. But $42 for that, I think I said that already. And then the last product that they picked for me is this one from Wanderer Beauty. This is their Sky Liner Duo. It's gel liners. You get two of them in here, so you get one that is jet black, and the other one is brown, I think. It's called Tan Line, is the shade name. But there they are. I used the black one today. I prefer to put a, t um, a black eyeliner on, on my top waterline, so I just used the black one today. So far it seems pretty pigmented and it went on really well. Didn't have any problems with it. I don't know how well it's going to last. I'll have to wait and see. Um, yeah. That's all I have to really say about it. This duo retails for $32, so there's those two. I'm not too mad about getting these. I like getting eyeliners. It saves me from having to go buy some. And these are shades that I'll definitely use. Alright, so that's everything that they chose for me. Now remember with the icon box you get like, I think eight items? Unless you're signed up for the beauty booster, then you'll get nine. So first product that I customize in my box is this one here from Toy Factory. I can't remember if I've heard of this brand before. I don't think so. I think this is a new, a new brand to me. But anyway, this is their blush palette. This retails for $40. If my eyes look watery, ignore it. I have this weird tickle going on in my throat and I keep coughing and it's making me teary-eyed. Anyways, here's what it looks like. So this is what I'm wearing on my cheeks today. I only use this shade right here and it really surprised me because normally I go in pretty light handed and I didn't go in super heavy handed but this is pretty pigmented. At least the shade is so I dipped in a little bit but I didn't tap it off. Like I didn't dip in hard but I dipped in and then I didn't tap it off and I just went into it and I had to blend it out because it was pretty pigmented. I really like the shade of it and I'm curious to try out the other shades but so far I'm pretty impressed with it. If they're all that pigmented, that's great. Um, I mean, luckily it blended out really well because yeah, I, I dipped in like and then I patted on my cheeks and I was like, ooh, that's a little more pigmented than I thought it was going to be. And then I was like working on it, trying to blend it out. I was like, please blend out because I look like a clown. But I really like the shade of it. So yeah, I'm pretty impressed with this so far. Like I said, I've not heard of the brand before, so I'm curious as to what other products that they have out there. This retails for $40 if I didn't already mention that. The next product that I customize is from also from Toy Factory. This is their Ultra Set Setting Powder. It's in the shade Translucent. Um, this one retails for $32. And I'm not sure how I feel about this product. I don't think there's anything wrong with the actual powder, but 
I don't understand, and maybe I just need to figure this out or I'm just not familiar with this type of way to get your powder out, but it has like this netting on it, which is nice because it keeps it pretty well contained, but I'm not sure how to get it out. Like I was dipping my brush into it and I don't know if it's just to keep you from getting too much product on your brush, but honestly I was dipping my brush in trying to get the product to pick it up and putting it on my face and I couldn't really tell if I was putting anything on my face. And then I tried to like, you know, hold it upside down and tap it out, but it doesn't really seem to come through. And then I tried holding it upside down and using my brush try to get the product out and again I couldn't really tell if I was getting anything on my brush so I'll have to figure out if that's the way it works I'm not sure how to get this out and I don't want to cut the netting because I think it's supposed to be there I don't know if you got this product let me know how you use it and if if the product does come out or I don't know but anyway so I can't really I don't really know how to like review it for you because I really couldn't tell if it I got anything on the brush and I was putting that on but I was like can't really tell so I don't know I'll have to play with this more and figure it out I've just never seen a setting powder like that um, anyways so there's that next up is a product from Too Faced and it's the Let's Play Gamer Girl on the Fly eyeshadow palette I think this is like one of their little minis um, this retails for $29 and I was pretty excited to see this as a customization because I really like Too Faced. I don't know, their packaging is always so cute. But it's in one of those little tin packaging, the little tin can feeling packaging. Reminds me of like mints, like then they come in those little tin cans. Anyways, here's what the palette looks like. It's a pretty cute little, I wouldn't really say neutral because it's pinky, but it's kind of a neutral-ish palette. More pinks, I think. I don't know. So far I like it. I used this kind of orangey shade um, as my overall shade and then I used this deep kind of like maroon color, purple mar maroon as like my outer corner deepening shade and then I used this shimmer shade right here as like all over the lid shimmer and then I used a little bit of this lighter shimmer shade as the inner corner. The mattes worked really well, they blended out really well, pretty pigmented, and the shimmer shade seems to be working, work just fine. Um, I built it up a little bit, but it wasn't anything excessive. Um, so yeah, so far I like the palette. I think it's a cute little palette, but that's really all I have to say about it. Alright, and then last but not least is the Beauty Boost item that um, I am signed up for their Beauty Booster thing that they have going on. I've explained it several times before, so if you want me to hear my explanation on what that is, you can go look at my past videos and I talk about it a bit in there. But I have to say, I am not happy with my choice item, and I'll tell you why. So, um, I think the last box that I got was my July box, and I showed you guys a hair tool that I picked as my beauty boost item in that box, and I was really happy with it. Like, I didn't ever try it out, but I was really... Like, it looked like a really nice hair tool item. It was a curling wand that was from, I think it was from Complex Culture. I think that was the brand name that it, where it was from. But anyways, this time, beauty booster item. My choices were skincare or another hair tool. So I was like, cool, another hair tool. It was a, it's a flat, um, a flat iron. And I was like, cool, you know, I don't mind having a flat iron, iron around the house. And also, if I don't end up using it, I can pass it on to my sister. Um, but anyways, so I chose that one. I got it, I got my box, and I opened my box and I looked at it, and it is a mini flat iron. And you might be like, well that doesn't seem bad, but on the website, I'll show you guys a picture, either here or here, it does not say anywhere on there that it is a mini flat iron. It just says flat iron, full size, um, you know, by this brand. So I feel like it was kind of misleading because if I had known it was a mini flat iron, I probably wouldn't have ended up choosing it, but I didn't know that, and that's what I used as my choice item for my beauty boost. And yeah, so I feel like that's just a little misleading because this thing does not look impressive at all. It honestly feels extremely cheap, like it's very cheap feeling plastic. 
nothing like the hair tool I got last month. month. Um, yeah, and the retail value on this is $49.99. Now, I don't know much about this brand Purify. Granted, I haven't used this, so maybe it is a nice flat iron. That just seems really pricey for a mini and a mini that doesn't even feel like it's really well made. This just feels, I'm like, I'm not trying to be mean or anything or diss the brand, but this feels extremely cheap. Like the plastic just feels like that cheap plastic. So yeah, so I'm pretty disappointed about this product right here. I feel like it was kind of a waste, especially because I pay extra money for the Beauty Booster um, customization that you get. So I don't know. I'll use it, I guess, or I'll give it to my sister and see how she likes it, but yeah. So I'm just pretty disappointed that they didn't mention in the description that it was a mini flat iron, because I feel like that's a pretty important um, disclaimer that they should put up. Especially if they're going to try to see, tell you that it's a full-size item on the website, because it is not. But there you go, guys. That is everything in the box, and I'm just going to tally up the price, let you guys know the overall value. And then after that, I'll do a quick run through and let you guys know my final thoughts on everything. All right, so the overall value of my box is $358. I did round up that last item because it was like $49.99. I don't know why they, st they don't just round it up to $50. Anyway, so $358 is the price value. So it's pretty good value um, considering what I paid for the box. So final thoughts on everything. So run through. I'm really happy that I only got one skincare item out of the nine items that I got. I only got one, so one out of the nine is pretty good. Um, that's how I prefer it. I don't, I'm not a big skincare person, um, but I could have made it skincare heavy if I wanted to because a lot of, I think most, a lot of my customizations were skincare or makeup products. Um, so, I mean, depending on whether you're a skincare or makeup person, you have options. But I'm pretty happy with what they sent me, and I'm excited to try it out. I will have to probably research it and just make sure it's not going to be something that's too harsh on my skin. I'm pretty sure it won't be, um, but I do need to read about it a little bit. Because, I don't know, some of these peels and things, you just don't know how your face is going to react to it. So I'll have to look into it. Anyway, so for the makeup products, I'm pretty happy with the, what I got makeup wise. I was pretty excited to get something from Huda Beauty. Um, I like getting mascaras and I've not tried this one so I'm excited about this. I really like this lip gloss. Um, I really like how it feels and that it's pretty pigmented and I like the color a lot so I'm really excited about this. The eyeliner is nice to get. I don't mind getting eyeliner every now and then. Um, I use eyeliner a lot so I've, it's a product that I use so I'm happy about that. The eyeshadow palette is probably my favorite thing in the entire box. I just really like Too Faced. I know people people have thoughts about Too Faced as the brand, but I just like their products. I don't really pay attention to all the drama and stuff that goes on in the beauty community, um, but I, I've, I've always enjoyed having their products, so I'm really excited about this. And then this new brand that I've not heard of, the Toy Factory, um, I really like their blush palette. So far, I'm impressed with it. Um, and I'm excited to get some more use out of this. Again, I'll have to figure out how to use this product. I don't know if I'm using it wrong, but I'll figure it out. But so far, I mean, it looks like a nice setting powder. And I, if I did get any on my face, it seemed like it set things nice. Um, and then the last thing for makeup-wise is Natasha Nadona uh, face palette here. Or duo, face duo, I guess. I'm glad to have gotten it and tried it out. I'll just have to keep playing with it, you know. Really, my concerns about it or my complaints um, is just that it's not my favorite bronzer shade, but I'll keep playing with it and maybe it'll grow on me. Maybe if I get a little tanner, it'll work out better. I might just be a little pale for it, but it doesn't look bad. It's just not what I'm used to. It's not my preference when it comes to a bronzer shade, but it's not bad. Um, so yeah. Oh, and then I forgot. This is probably the only product that I'm disappointed about, honestly, in the box. Is this mini hair, uh, this mini straightener. And honestly, it's just because they did not disclaim it as a mini straightener. And yeah, it is a mini because it says so on the, you know, on the box. It says mini on it. So I just feel like that was kind of really misleading. 
And now I'm kind of concerned about picking other hair tools as my beauty booster item because I don't want to keep getting minis. Um, I might have to start reading reviews first before I pick it. But anyways, I think the main thing is it's, I'm just disappointed that they didn't disclaim it and that it doesn't seem to look, it doesn't look like a really nice product. Um, just being honest with you guys. So yeah, this is the most disappointing thing in the box. But other than the mini straightener, I'm really happy with what I got in this month's box. So that is going to do it for today, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up because that really does help with my channel. And also let me know down in the comments what you guys thought of my box this month. Did you guys get August Icon box? And if you did, what did you think of your box? Let me know down below because I'm chatting with you guys down there. But other than that, I hope you guys have a wonderful day and a wonderful week. And I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye!